how to easily shoot a movie style music video with a storyline tutorial vlog behind the scenes coming up I almost got hit by a bus in Philly. Crack a lag on the track. What's going on, everyone? Today I'm here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. For those of you that don't know, I'm from Lansing, Michigan. It's about nine hours away from me. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm a fucking daylight. I want this light bulb. They're bright. All right, you guys, so how to shoot a movie style storyline music video. I'm gonna talk about three different topics, all right? So first is the script, storyboard, treatment. When you listen to the song, think about in the intro when the song first comes on, what are people seeing? What's happening? Then go to the end of the song and think about, okay, what just happened? When you watch a movie, there's a, there's some sort of intro, there's context, you, you, you see what's going on, then there's some sort of climax. Oh, shit something happens i'm on the edge of my seat and then there's an ending so on this journey there's a certain emotion that you want to show that's what you want to keep in mind with writing out your script your treatment doing your storyboard most of the time i do this myself but with this music video i got lucky shout out to mj the artist he did the entire script himself it's probably when it's, uh, no we can do that i mean uh, to be honest what we're doing right now is just putting it together like these are the ideas and mm -hmm. so now let's like organize the ideas to actually have like a step one step two step three that makes the most sense all right today <laughs> what we're gonna do is now the script doesn't have to be super into detail it can just be like in this case on the intro of the song show us walking away from the hospital holding hands like we left the doctor's appointment driving by time lapse type of thing show us getting in the car show us dancing smiling listening to music recalculating my brain move your, your thumb yep yeah, smiling at each other that's good they're driving and i'm gonna get a close up of street light going from red to green then i want to get turn motion or something like that and i'm gonna get a shot of just a random car driving kind of like show car light them her face then you get the picture <laughs> that was close i almost got hit by a bus in philly quick day three two one one more just in case. Driving, he turns, light turns green. Three, two, one. Let's try from this angle one time. Three, two, one. And then an accident happens before the singing starts. Got it, right? Our job is once we actually show up to do it, that's when we use our expertise. Like, okay, I'm gonna use this lens and get this shot. Now I'm gonna use this lens and get a, a gimbal shot. I'm gonna use this lens and go handheld. I'm gonna get a close up of this, close up of that. I don't usually write down all of those, which would be like the shot list. But yeah, just, just have a general idea, write down your ideas, the different shots that you wanna get. Sometimes we get lucky and the artist has some good ideas. Other times, you know, that's something that we gotta do. However, I do feel upfront in the beginning, you gotta have that conversation with the artist because the artist is always gonna be way more tied to the song than us, you know. They sat there for hours listening to the beat over and over and over again. They wrote down all the lyrics. While they were writing the lyrics, they probably had the music video in their head already. Then they went and recorded the song, listened to it over and over. Then they finally hit you up to shoot the music video. So we're just now hearing the song and they've heard it 10,000 times already. The music video, they wanted to do some flashbacks where the females are gonna be going through the phone and seeing the memory of them here on this day. Then the first thing I thought of was like, well, sh how's she gonna find the picture if it hasn't happened yet? So what we're doing is we're here filming the flashback memory and then I'm making sure that they actually take a selfie together so that way later on when we film her going through her phone, she'll be looking at this picture and then that's where I would insert this footage in the music video. Big brain. Getting some scenery B-roll for their date scene. It's at Gino's, which is like a landmark around here. Got a basketball court around here. So I want to show some of the scenery, some of the environment, and then it'll cut back and forth between this and then them on their date. Now the second thing we're talking about is scenes. That's pretty much why you're shooting the music video. It's putting the script into action, being vocal, be a director on set, talk to the artist, make sure that their facial expressions 
match the mood that you want to show in that scene right there. Got it right now. Yeah. I said all these fancy people eating. I bet they're all talking about having missionary sex. Audio music. Audio music. Music. Crack a lag on the truck. <sighs> You're all gonna get fing sick. Want some light shit. Having OnlyFans. Give the thumbs up. I haven't plugged mine. Oh yeah, like if you guys wanna see pics of shit, subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> What's up, bro? Let's go. I see some balls. <laughs> He's gonna have to, cause the elevator. Yeah. That's the key to any R&B video. That's it. That's what he does. It. Have the imaginary hair, just bring it all. Just one hand, two hands. Sometimes, you know, I'm not at the two hand level. Yet. Okay, just you one. Know what I'm saying I'm still at the tour, so I just. As you progress throughout your R&B career, you'll start using two. But the beginning is <laughs> just one. If you got to do it multiple takes, that's what you're there to do. Sometimes in movies. It'll be a 15 second part and they might spend two to three hours just doing it over and over again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, two, one. All right, the third thing we're talking about is setting and that's not to be confused like the actual camera settings, but creating the setting for the environment. So with this music video, the artist, he's dressed in all black. In the story that we're telling, he dies in a car accident. So with it showing him performing the song, we wanted it to be very cinematic. So first off, if you want to know how to shoot more cinematic music videos, check out the tutorial that I already have on my channel. I'll put a link to that in the description. But one of the main things with like cinematic style is the lighting. So we had two cool RGB lights that were very inexpensive, about $100, $120. Yeah, we just put one on each side of his face. So he had the shadows, got real close, low aperture. I think it was a 1.8. It just got a real tight shot of his face. Did a, a little bit farther out shot of him performing where you could see his hands moving. It was R&B singing type song. <laughs> we had to get one joke out there, all right. <laughs> By Christmas, I'm gonna be in decent shape. At least 220. What are you right now? 270. I'm about to cut up lose 10 pounds. Too much. So it happens to the best of us. My memory card got full. So I always keep an extra memory card like in your wallet. We filled the memory card yesterday in New York. Pulled out the spare, filled that bitch up, so we had to go get a third memory card. That's the update. So you can sit, I'll be on my knees, my natural position. <laughs> Nothing ever happens just by chance. Just remember that our job is to paint the picture, the visual picture of the song that they made. All right, you guys, two bonus tips. One major plug and shout out is storyblocks.com. Storyblocks is a website that you can go to and download stock footage and also sound effects. But I used Storyblocks for four different scenes in this video. One was I needed a close up of a red light turning green. I needed a ambulance driving down the street and then like a POV looking up at doctors inside of a hospital and then also like a heart rate monitor. And I was able to get all four of those clips from storyblocks.com. And then the next tip is using sound. I actually just went to YouTube and searched car crash sound effect, heart rate monitor sound effect, woman crying sound effect, ambulance sound effect. So, you know, I just put the sound effects with the video footage and was able to pull off the look that I needed without actually being able to film it myself with the camera. What up world, how y'all doing? MJ here, shout out to Crack -a -Lack. Crackalack TV. I gotta say, this this opportunity to work with him was was magical. He's a hell of a videographer and producer, and just a stand up guy, man. Him and the whole team, man. It was a it was a pleasure to work with him, and I can't wait to do it again, man. Plenty more, plenty more. Yes, sir. Right. Hey, y'all be on the lookout for Smile, okay? I'm gonna put a link in the description so that way you guys can see the final product what the music video actually looks like. I'm gonna put a link in the description on the end screen and I'm gonna pin the comment to the link. And uh, go check it out, show some love. Let them know that you came from this video right here. Crack a TV. Yeah, man.